Is that Paddy? Paddy's already getting ready. Are you kidding me? What I dream of is being in the car park, seeing epic waves, knowing you're about to score Pay with, with your boys. Fingers. Yeah, you see like guys like check, oh, oh, and I'm like, I'm a nightmare when it's like that. I can't think. <laughs> Back, this thing's insane. Oh my god. Hey, it's yeah, what just, we got? What's in the car? Oh, uh, we're just unleashing. I'm going fever all the way. Down the fave. I would call yeah. it. Dude, let's already call it. Get your lights in. I'm already back in my seat. I'm gonna go fever round tail. Oh, I'm fever so jealous. Fever. I'm so jealous. We're doing a fever off right here. This is gonna be the ultimate test between the round tail and the squash tail. I'm a huge round tail advocate, so let's get this board out. This is it. Wow. Oh my god, dude. Can we just do an exchange out there? <laughs> oh, yeah. you're like raiding my wheelhouse right here. This you can probably ride that for you. Should we get out there? Like, it's gonna <laughs> session? Like, fuck, these things are sick. Yeah, I'm, I'm pumped. Uh, yeah! Kadowska's family is so renowned for just this froth and fever. I want to call it fever. Is this something coming from it's T Street in San Clemente? <laughs> yeah, it is. Is this Sorry, is this energy it. that's that it's just born through the culture? The original crew of San Clemente was like Shane Beshin, Gavin Beshin, Wardo, the Fletchers. <laughs> I mean, like that for us is what we grew up seeing, and I think it was a lot with me, Dan, and Tanner. You know, our, our parents are big on school. They're like, "Hey, you guys are going to school. You know, you guys are going to do that. You can surf before and after, or whatever." But that was a big part because then when we surf, we'd surf for an hour in the morning, hour in the evening, and we'd be so psyched that we could go surfing. You know, yeah. like, it was just inherent where you, no matter what the conditions were, you were surfing. And even I had an old surf team coach that was like oh, if it's flat, you guys power on the pier or catch five waves. And that became like part of our whole like program. I was like, oh, it's, we're out there. It doesn't even matter what it yeah. looks like, you know? And You've spent a lot of time on the QS. You've spent time on the World Tour. No matter what, no matter if you're on the top stage or you're on the QS trying to get back on the top stage, yeah. you're psyched at every event. <laughs> yeah, I know. I look at it as like an opportunity. Like for me, even coming back onto the QS now, you know, I've proven plenty on the CT and I, like, I feel stoked, you know. I'm not feeling like I need to validate myself in any way by doing that, but I just love competing and performing. Like it's such a performing art. Yeah. So. Even if the stage, do you see these birds? They're, far, they're fired up on us. I don't know what those were, but they're cheering us on. Um, it is true though, like even the QS, it's the hardest thing about the QS is you don't have good ways to perform, which yeah. is the worst thing about it. But you still get to perform. There's still like a really great camaraderie of people tuning in and like the level's insane. There's yeah. so many good guys. And I just, I like that challenge of waking up and going, oh, this guy's on, I gotta be on. And, I mean, I just enjoy that kind of process, and I would much prefer to be on the CT. Like, that's without a doubt. But, yeah. I mean, hopefully, I can make it back on and do another lap on that. And Amen, then, brother. Yeah. Just Amen. Send you. I mean, we're training. <laughs> we're getting barreled. We're like, falters got in our veins. We're just psyched. Yes. <laughs> Yeah.
morning with. Is that too many words for one session? No, I not know. at all. I think this is like <laughs> the perfect realm of I'm ready for all conditions. Yeah, I was ready for anything. I've, <laughs> even if we were going to have like a serious, you know, fun session, I was ready. I mean, especially up here, like beachy slabs, what we kind of had today, then there's point breaks. You're kind of covering that, aren't you? Oh, I'm s it makes me happy just seeing them. You've been loving the mid. It's yeah. so sick. I actually grabbed it off onboard, like right off the rack and oh, fuck, I've just been freaking on it. It makes a really average session really fun. Yeah. And I've actually been kind of secretly feeling like it's changing my, my performance surfing because the way that this design was, and I and Devin Howard did it with Mike Andrews, they like really built a really beautiful rail here. And I think that it, it's like a snowboard, you know? So yeah. I've been trying to hold my turns longer on my shortboards. And this is because been of that? the medicine ball. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like before even I rode this, I kept thinking like I just wanted to hold everything longer. And this thing has been like crazy parallels to that. So it's. I'm freaking, I'm gonna, I wanna ride it like big Lennox or big lowers or. Isn't it funny, like transitioning from boards, which again, like yeah. for you being on the QS all year, on your standard, like your fevers, yeah. your rocks, like keeping it real performancey. And then when you can just stop and just step back a little Enjoy bit it. and get a board like the fish beard or the CI where you're drawing different lines and go, oh, hang on, I can actually yeah. like. Implement that yeah. later. It's, and you feel it instantly, you? feel it. You? And that's, I think you probably, if you ask the most is the guys on tour, like, the cool thing about this break is like all of a sudden this is my quiver when I'm showing up instead of normally it would just be literally like five fevers and yeah, maybe yeah. a fever, you know, spine tech. And, and so, yeah, it's been pretty wild. Like I've really been enjoying that space and time to like kind of enjoy these boards, you know, the OG flyer, it's just an easy board, you know, and that's yeah. the cool thing. Like I don't like to have too much change where it's just like you have to like reinvent your surfing in a contest format, yeah. you know, but yeah, around here, I've honestly been riding that a lot um, when it's small. Tanner barely rides here. And, wow. and Dane rides them a bit, but like Tanner's, you know, his style is so different to yeah. mine. And he just, he loves them, but he's like, has his own focus. And in like he's this one over here, yeah. Wide now, isn't and he? it's crazy, like Dane, I swear to you, Dane doesn't ride shortboards. He rides <laughs> this board right here. And like, it's fun because this is one of the original rocket wides. Like it even says right here, it's R9 wide. So it's rocket nine wide. So this is probably like 2000. That was the merge right there. The really. merge. It's crazy. That's one of the first ones. And it's one of my favorites. I kept it here every year. I come back and just, as you can see, it's beat up. But I mean, I love surfing that board. It's, it's really been cool. loved. It's, been, it's, it's, been it's been had a great life. I know. <laughs> I'm like, dude, just keep living, man. That's it. And it's just a really easy to ride board. I think I see this board in the lineup probably more than any CI board, at least around here. What would you pick? What's like getting you fired up? I mean, Cause I'm just psyched on all of them, so I want to see. We surfed the favorite today. Mm. This is your board. This is it. I know. <laughs> this is the this is the money maker. This thing. It's the heartbeat. They're in the middle of all the good times right here. I'm so pumped on that. Mike Andrews did the logo for me, the very first one with pencil. And I remember we were like talking names. And I wanted something simple, easy that you could like remember, and it gave you like a feeling when you'd like see it. And he was all psyched on this. Like I forget that it was some metal band. He was just, like drawing it. And he, I told him, I'm like, I think Fever's sick. And then he did it. And it was just like, that was, that, that was, was the it. logo. Like first one, first try. I was like, oh, Boom. that thing's sick. Even if I didn't help create it, I would just freak on it. It's, yeah. you can surf it at one foot wave. And like I told you, soup bowls are surfing. The first trip I did, and it was like huge closing out soup bowls. And I was just knifing it and it felt so good. And I was like, yes. The Fever, massive part of your whole career. You and Mike Andrews in the bay getting fruity. I know Andrews was like, this is the board that could get you on tour. Yeah, how sick is that? And it, and it did, happened. Yeah. And I wrote it the whole like, time. Like, what? Yeah, that was sick. Are you kidding me? I know. Yeah, it was funny when he, he said that, because I was like, oh, that's true. It, it kind of, it made me happy to go surfing. Yeah. So then when I looked at the QS, I was like, oh, I'm psyched to go surf, because I got a great board. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it wasn't even about CI. I, we were really were just Which trying crazy, to create a board. Yeah. It's, and that's what's cool, like... That's the, when the magic happens, though, is it like, does. we're not I focusing think. on the business side of it, we're actually no. focusing on you. Straight up, like, if you're loving this, then that's all that matters, and that's... I think the coolest moment of the Fever was 
when I actually got other people to ride it. I'm like, try this board, and, and then someone would ride it, and I'm like, wow, that's sick. I was just so fired up to see someone ripping on it, and once you saw someone rip it, it was like, yeah, I think that was the most rewarding thing, because then you knew you weren't crazy. You know, you're like, this thing feels fucking sick. <laughs> and some guy does a huge error, and I'm like, okay, thank you. That's That just happened. That rules. That's, that's my board. Yes, that's sick. And it was one of those boards. It, it's a culmination of a lot of Almeric designs um, that we just kind of embodied all in one. I brought in boards from like a decade of CI boards. I, I literally, to Mike, said, these are what I've loved over the last 10 years. How can we make that one board that I like grab? Yeah. And now it was such a cool process because I keep a lot of my, my like, really special boards. We really gain a lot of inspiration from like old boards. The old MBM, the original Bobby Martinez board, was one of my favorites growing up. And that's a huge inspiration for the Viva. Like that was almost the base of what we worked off of. Which is sick, because I love Bobby and I'm like, dude, this is fucking sick. Like, <laughs> and people, I mean, now you almost like 10 or 20 years later, people don't remember those models, you know, and so much history and hard work. And I don't know, it's just crazy. Tell you what, Patty. It's sick. I want to go surf, should we surf? What a day. Do we have time? What a chat. <laughs> We're fucking. Boards, barrels, and bitchin' history. And Bruce. Oh. That's what's going on. Triple B's. Here we are. Here we are, we're doing it. We're gonna go rip right now. Thanks, brother. No worries, dude. Thank you guys. What a chat. What a chat. Can we just keep you in and, and just talking boards and barrels and bitches? Barrels, <laughs> bitches, boards, dude. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Dude, how funny. Yeah, you guys, you guys like, rocking. <laughs> you can go on there. Oh, nice. Sorry, dude.